The Unlisted Gamer, what's up? Alicia, how we doing? Sorry, I'm just uh, making some posts here. Let everybody know that we're live. How's everybody doing? I'm doing great. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because I just had a meeting literally minutes ago with my boss. Um, and I got a nice raise. So, cheers. Sorry, it's just water. That's what we're cheersing with today. But I'm pretty excited. What's up, Jatana? How we doing? So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, got a nice little got, got a nice little raise coming in. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. For my day job, not for this. I don't get raises for this. I just I just make money on, on building computers. But, you know, maybe we can get some more computer builds going, huh? Huh? Welcome in, welcome in. How's everybody doing? We'll give it a give it another minute or two here before we uh, we get started, and then we're gonna get into the build. What's everybody up to on this fine Monday? Turn up the music just a little bit. How's everybody doing? Welcome in, welcome in. We're gonna get started here in just a minute. Just wanna let some people trickle in before we uh, we really get going, really kicking off. Uh, that camera still does not work. It's a piece of garbage. Maybe I need a new. Maybe I need a better cable for it. Uh, maybe the ports that I'm trying to use on my my computer are just wonky. I don't know, I've tried two different ports. One of them doesn't show up at all, and the other one, it basically just shorts out and, and stops working, so. Um, I think that's, I think that's a dud. I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be done using that pretty soon unless we get, uh, unless we get something different for it. But, anyways. Are we, uh, are we ready to, are we ready to get started? Should we get started? What do we think? I wanna see some, see some ones in chat if we're ready to, we're ready to get started on the build and let's start talking about what we got in here. Lee Barrow, what's up? Let's go getting another console scrub onto PC gaming the right way. That's right. Sinister79 coming in with a sub on YouTube. Appreciate that. All right. Who's ready? Who's ready to get started with the computer build? So today, we've got another anti RGB build just like the one that you saw me build for Lee Barrel uh, a few weeks back. We've got this i5 14600K, 32 gigs of RAM from Team Group, a two terabyte SSD also from Team Group there. Uh, we've got this MSI B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi motherboard, 850 watt power supply and RTX 4070 Super, which is essentially a 4070 Ti for $200 off. And then we've got this really nice be Quiet Pure Loop 2, which is super overpowered for that CPU, um, but it's gonna allow him to upgrade over time and not have to upgrade its CPU over time and not have to mess with that CPU cooler because that thing is a beast. All right, should we get started? Should we start building this computer? Uh, and all of this is going into the Fantex XT Pro, which is a lovely computer. It's only $60 right now on Newegg. $60 for a like mid tower um, case that supports up to a, uh, EATX, comes with a fan, has, you know, nice glass panel on it. Um, I mean, what could, what more could you ask for? It even has a USB-C, or um, even has a USB-C port as the uh, part of the front IO. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really the whole package, you guys. MJ, how we doing? How we doing? All right, MSI Mag B760, Big Bob 0377 coming in with a follow on kick. Appreciate that. All right, so let's get some stuff out of here. Got some stickers and all that nonsense. We don't need any of that. <clears throat> okay, get 
that out of here. It's Big Bob Gaming. How are we doing? Why is my nose itchy? You're doing. You're just doing? That's it? It's the best you can muster right now, MJ? <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, someone asked me earlier how I was doing, and I'm doing pretty good because I found out, so I, you know, I still work full time. I do this on the side of my full time job. Um, I found out from my boss literally minutes ago, like 20 minutes ago, uh, that I got a nice chunky fat raise this year. Um, I had, we are uh, the company that I work for had been having some like financial stuff and we were like recently purchased by Volvo and now, um, <clears throat> you know, financials are looking a lot better for the company. And so we were finally able to, they were finally able to like reevaluate all of our compensation and um, figure out, especially like all the engineering staff, like what, uh, how much we should be making. And uh, yeah, today is the, that fateful day where they're, they're handing those out. So that was pretty cool. Feel wiped out for some reason. That's a bummer. Well, hopefully you get some rest soon. Tell you what, why don't you just, you just lay down, take a nap while you uh, listen to my sweet tunage and listen to me sit here and talk about this computer. All right, that's an art, uh, not RCX, short one. Uh, that's an i5-14600K installed. I'm gonna save those for the customer later just in case something happens. Lemons, what's up? Good afternoon. Okay, 14600K, done. Let's get our uh, SSD out here. This is a two terabyte M.2 from Team Group. It's, uh, it's actually a Gen 3 SSD. So it's uh, it runs about similar speeds as some of the, uh, the cheaper Gen 4s, so. Not, not a bad uh, bang for your buck. And the two terabyte version of this is just over $100. So it's really, really reasonable um, to be able to get two terabytes in a uh, M.2 SSD. <clears throat> okay, so that's gonna go right here in that top slot. But first, gotta get our LTT screwdriver out here. Got that. Two terabyte MBME PCIe six year warranty from Team Group E. Okay. I ran out of things that end with an E sound, but have no fear. It's still a great, great CPU or uh, SSD. Why is that not quite fitting? I swear, MSI's motherboards are notoriously bad with these little toolless things here. Sometimes they're just too, they're just not quite the right size or like they don't put them in quite the right spot. You can't quite put down your, your SSD. So what should be a toolless design now requires a tool. There we go. <clears throat> All right, two terabytes of storage for just over a hundred dollars is a freaking steal, man. I definitely recall not that long ago where a one terabyte NVMe was like a hundred dollars and those were gen threes. And now we're getting double that for the same price. Crazy, crazy. All right, there we go. Get a, get a sip of water. All right, our SSD is installed. We can put the uh, big attachment back on here. Let's get our RAM out here. This is uh, Team Group T Create. This is really nice, low profile RAM. So if you have like a big air cooler, for instance, or uh, maybe a small form factor build, this Team Group T Create is really good stuff. It looks incredible. Um, and like I said, it has that nice low profile. So it'll fit in literally any computer you could possibly want to put it in. Assuming it's DDR5. You do have to have a DDR5 motherboard. Okay, 
Well, let's get this in there. CL32-6400, and it is a 32 gigabyte kit. So pretty much the standard these days for DDR5, uh, 32 gigs. If anyone's trying to sell you a computer with less than 32 gigs of RAM in it, they're stealing from you. They really shouldn't be doing it. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Something in my throat. That's what she said. Okay. One down. You guys are a little quiet today. Hope everybody's hanging in there. I, I understand it is Monday. It is Monday afternoon. I get it. I feel you. I probably wouldn't be this chipper if I hadn't just found out I was getting a raise, so I can't really hold that against you all. Okay, there is our RAM installed. Uh, I believe we can also, I think we can also get our um, back plate and stuff bolted in before we uh, put the motherboard into the case. Suck these lemons, what's up? Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out. Out here. What else is in here? Got a little three to one there. Got some bolts. We'll need those later. Is everybody just still working? Is that what's going on? Everybody's still at work? don't remember if we need to use that or not. Uh, AMD, we shouldn't need that at all. Got our Intel stuff here. So all we gotta do is stick that through in the correct slot. For LGA 1700, it's gonna be on the outer slot. For L1151 and stuff, is gonna be on the interior slot. And then you just slide these little O-rings over the top. Oh, come on. Keeps wanting to spin on me. There we go. Then you just slide that little O-ring over the top and that holds it in place. We just gotta do that three more times. We're gonna on getting my game on for the night. <laughs> getting your game on. What kind of game are we doing tonight? We're gonna get these nuts. Wait, what? Okay. I um, there's a really funny podcast I listen to, and this guy called in. And he was talking about how he accidentally got his daughter, I think it was his daughter, who's like two, to start like calling anything, any sort of nut, like walnuts, pecans, anything like, literally like she would call them D's nuts. And then he was like having a conscience, like a, a crisis of conscience. Um, and trying to like, what do I do about it? How do I fix this? And the guys, the guys on the podcast were just like, uh, this is incredible. Um, I don't think you should do anything. <laughs> cod mostly hey let's go i know i was like i was dying like the two-year-old it's funny though because the two-year-old quite literally thinks that they were like what she's eating is called these nuts like that's just that's just what you call them i was like that is hilarious but granted i don't think i would want to teach my daughter that thankfully she's older than old enough that that won't happen but it's still, it's too good. It's too good. All right, so we got all those on. Stuck that behind the motherboard. And then we just gotta put all these little standoffs on. And then we'll bolt these guys on. And then we'll just have to bolt our um, CPU cooler block to that. And we'll be done. Hatfield, what's up? How we doing? 
Welcome in, welcome in. What chat was I, what chat did I see you in earlier today, Hatfield? Definitely remember seeing you somewhere. I wasn't in a lot of streams today. I was kind of, I had some open, but I was mostly just lurking. Was that, was it Jay's stream? Doesn't sound right. Somebody though. Okay. Um, put that on top and bottom. Janelle's, I wasn't Janelle's for a minute. I didn't get to watch Right Tech at all today. I had meant to, I wanted to. Um, I think he had, a, it seemed like he had a shorter stream and I had some stuff going on this morning. I just wasn't able to tune in. Puppies, I was in Puppies stream for a minute. Could have been that. I was in Janelle's stream, but only for like 20 minutes. The Redneck of Engineers, what is up? How we doing? How we doing, Wes? Why do I feel like all these other ones got cross threaded somehow? No, they're good. Was exactly an hour ago. The raise discussion went great. I mean, it wasn't really a discussion. It was just like, hey, here's your raise. And it was a lot. Uh, it was far more than I was expecting. Um, I don't expect in the future that the raises will be quite so substantial, um, but I am very, very happy with the raise that I got. Let's just put it that way, okay? We'll just leave it at that. I am very happy with what they, um, what the company decided to give to me. It wasn't like my boss decided. Um, I'm very happy with what the company decided to give to me. It goes into effect immediately. I'm super happy about it. Not, nothing more to say than, than thank you to them, I guess. Yo, what's up, Cake? How we doing? Okay, this is done for now. I'll leave that there. Yeah, it's great news. I mean, I'm, I'm nothing but, but excited about it. Um, especially because like, with all the stuff going on at the company um, throughout like the last year, eh, like the last eight months, it's been a whirlwind and like nobody's been, nobody's gotten anything, even like a cost of living raise. And so like I have never gotten a raise in the over two years I've been there up until like just recently. So um, yeah, it's very, very nice to get a, a very solid raise. So seven figure. <laughs> No, it is not seven figures. <laughs> um, if I was making second seven figures, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Or I wouldn't be trying to like do this in a way that made money. I would just be doing this for fun. Because if I was making seven figures, I wouldn't need to do anything else, you know? I wouldn't need to make more money. <laughs> I'm sure there are people out there who like seven figures isn't enough to support their lifestyle. Seven figures is more than enough to support my lifestyle. <laughs> Seven figures a year is enough for me to basically retire after a few years. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no, not seven figures. As much as I wish. As much as I wish that were the case, tis not that much. Yours and mine too. <laughs> uh, what industry am I in again? Uh, I work in the electric vehicle industry. Uh, I'm an engineer for a company that makes, like designs and manufactures high voltage batteries for commercial vehicles. So like um, semi trucks, you know, um, industrial like um, type vehicles and equipment. Um, yeah. Transit buses, all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I work as an engineer for a company that does that. Okay, let's get that laid down. Oops, lay that on top of my mouse. Not that. Yeah, I work in the EV industry. Uh, and before that, I was in like commercial automotive. So um, I worked for worked for the good old Daimler, Freightliner, Western Star stuff. Forty zip ties, just in case, you know. 
Just in case, we might need all those. I was in printed circuit board manufacturing as a field and then a process engineer. Oh yeah, so you made good money. Hatfield, how come you're not our sugar daddy? Hmm? All right. Let's get these bolts going. One's in chat if you think Hatfield should be our sugar daddy for the stream. If we all vote for it, then he has to do it. Okay, that's how, the, that's how the world works. Our company made wave and reflow soldering equipment and I'll bet you make more than I did. Well, okay, I mean, with inflation and stuff, I doubt I did. I doubt that I do now. Because inflation is so ridiculously high compared to, compared to 30 years ago that, yeah, I don't know. It's ridiculous. Caked, what's up, dude? How you doing today? Wow, nobody, nobody put a one in chat saying that uh, that Hatfield owes us uh, money to be our, our sugar daddy for the stream, imagine. Uh, our company, uh, oh, I already read that, never mind. It's just a quiet day on, uh, on the stream. Monday afternoon, everyone's just like, I just would take a nap, leave me alone. Installed. Now, it's that time of the day. Arcadia born, how we doing? Welcome in, I am doing fan freaking tastic Okay, get Lazy Susan out here. If you've got that Lazy Susan emote and kick, make sure you throw that on up. Uh, what you made that would be 89k. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, that's still good money. Don't get me wrong. Okay, you're right. I make more than you did back then. Fine. Okay. Let's do this. I have been in design and whatever engineering for in like a decade now, you guys. How did I get so old? I mean, I'm not old old, but like, when did I become like a full-fledged adult? I used to just be like a, I'm just straight out of college and I'm just like, I have real money now. <clears throat> now I'm like, you're a real adult. Why aren't you saving your money? Thinking about putting your kid in school. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have uh, I have a bachelor's um, in engineering from um, Oregon State. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this is going a little short. I wonder if I should run it from the side here. I just don't like the look of that. I think we'll run it from the bottom. We'll run it from the bottom and we'll deal with the consequences later. You don't make that now. <laughs> Specs. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So 14600K, uh, 360 millimeter AIO that's going to go on top. 
MSI Mag V760 motherboard right here. Team Group Tikri Export RAM, um, a two terabyte SSD. We'll have a 4070 Super, and then of course this beautiful case from Fantex and an 850 watt power supply. Oh, somehow the uh, did that thing get messed up. Oh, the power supply isn't showing up in there, but that's too bad. Yeah, I have my, my bachelor's in mechanical engineering, uh, Hatfield. Okay, we've got our exhaust fan. Um, so we're gonna have CPU fans, pump fan. We've got our, a couple of system fans there. And we've got a couple more down here. I think rather than having this fan go all the way across, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep this extension on it. I'm sorry, you guys, my um, my rear camera is still on the fritz, so um, at some point we're probably just gonna need to buy one. But I don't really wanna spend the money on it right now because I just spent a bunch of money on a new website that we're still working on. So, yeah. Okay, so there's that. So now we're running that exhaust fan down here along that side. This stuff will all get cleaned up in a little bit. Um, let's put in our front fans. So we've got some extra front fans from a different build uh, that we're throwing in here. So these are just some fractal design, uh, 140 millimeter fans. We're gonna get at least two of them in there, maybe three if we can squeeze them in. I made more starting at that gig than you do in your current one. Oh, wow. That's just all of you living in California back then, so I'm doing better. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, California is expensive. Yo, what's up, Whiskey? How we doing? Uh, I mean, for $79, you can't beat this case. This case right now, right now, is like $59 on Newegg. $59. You guys believe that? Can you believe that? $59 for this thing. It's crazy. Absolutely nutty. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can fit three of these guys stacked. Okay, so there's one. I don't know if we can fit three uh, 140s in here. That'd be crazy if we could. Can you imagine 340 millimeter fans in this thing? One second, one second. Stoked for this build? Hey, yeah. Wait, is this your build, Whiskey? Okay, so there's the top fan. Okay, top fan, middle fan, bottom fan. Oh, heck yeah! We're tripling up on this bad boy. Okay, here we go. To live in California at your present lifestyle, home and amenities, you'd have to make 250K. Yeah, that's, yeah, you're, uh, you're not wrong. I would probably have to make that much as well. Like I can't imagine, so I, the company I work for is partly, partially based in the Bay Area. So I can't imagine what like someone who's equivalent to me would be making in, if they live in uh, like our, our local facility there. Cause that's just, cost of living there is just stupid expensive. Like. I remember talking to one of my buddies who was first moving there and he was saying like, for just like a reasonable house, and this is two years ago, for just like a reasonable house in the Bay Area for like, you know, that can fit your family is like $2 million. Like they're like starting, like you gotta start looking at $2 million. It's like, good Lord, that's just too much money. Richard, what's up? That was in Northridge, San Fernando Valley. I don't know California that well, to be honest. I know Northern California a little bit better because I grew up in Southern Oregon, but I don't really know all of California that well, if I'm being honest.
Uh, SFV is north of LA. Okay. Between LA and Ventura. Okay. Cool. Chatsworth is there. Porn capital of the world. Jeez. What a what a place to call home, huh? <laughs> the porn capital of the world. <laughs> Jeez. All right. There's our three 140 millimeter front fans. Let's just kind of spin them there, make sure nothing's coming in contact. We're good. Uh, these are really nice too. These front fans came with daisy chains. Thank you, Fractal. Uh, this is also this is from another build uh, from Cowboy Scuba Daddy's build actually. Um, so you know, everyone say thank you. thank you, Cowboy, for the uh, the spare uh, fans. Today's build, there it is, 14600K, the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 MSI Mag B760 Tomahawk Wi-Fi T Group T Korea Export CL326400, 2 times 16 gigabyte MP33 2 terabyte SSD, RTX 4070 Super from ASUS, Fantex XT Pro, and the ASUS Tough 850 watt power supply. There it is. There it is. Oh, it somehow got messed up on uh, on YouTube. I wonder if there's like a max character or something. Okay, all those fans, they're already connected. Look at that, so easy. The non-RGB builds are just so fast, you guys. <laughs> you don't even understand. <clears throat> it's just so easy. Okay, so we're gonna get our uh, CPU power cables out and we'll plug them in. I'm pretty sure we don't need to worry about it. Like, we should have space for them even once the radiator's in, but it's just so much easier to put in now. So we're gonna do that now. Right meow. All those extra power and control wires suck. It's true. Like you have extra, um, yeah, like the RGB power and or RGB cables, and you've got. Um, you know, half of them have some sort of hub that you have to connect to and connect into like, you know, either directly into the motherboard or into the, uh, like a USB slot in the internal side. And then um, you've got, um, you know, an extra set of cables, like just an extra set of wires to deal with everywhere. It's just such a pain. Um, obviously I'm more than, more than willing to do it <coughs> for customers, but I love, the ease of building a PC like this. The cheapo case you got works well for the backup PC. Nice. What case did you end up going with for that? I can't remember. <clears throat> All right. Uh, that's not what I want. I don't need that. Okay, that is gonna be our GPU power, CPU power. Uh, don't need a PCIe. Uh, another CPU power. We really don't need two, but we've got two of them on the motherboard, so we're gonna use them. Uh, I don't think we have any SATA power. Uh, I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll put one in there anyways, just in case. Motherboard power cable, and that's it. Get rid of, get rid of the rest of that. Okay, so just want these two guys for now. Just a couple of CPU power cables. And we're just gonna run those right to the back. That nice opening for them. You guys, this, this case may even be designed for the zero. This case might even be compatible with some of the um, like Project Zero uh, motherboards. If you look closely, um, you can see there's there's holes all along the bottom here at the bottom of the motherboard. There's holes where the, the motherboard sticks out all throughout here, all along the top. I think this could be a Project Zero uh, capable case. Is this the cheapest? Is this the most budget Project Zero case? That would be cool. The bit Phoenix Nova Mesh. That's right. 
Haven't used it. I'm sure I've seen it. Okay. There's those cables in there. Now these other ones we can set aside for the moment because we are going to start working on, we don't need this up top either. We're going to start working on our CPU cooler. The cooler, which is a 360 millimeter AIO from Be Quiet. And it comes with extra coolant because Be Quiet is awesome. They're a great, great brand. If I had about like five to six K, I would tell you build whatever, but it's gotta be a Project Zero build. Yeah. I haven't done any Project Zero builds. I, mean, I haven't like tried to uh, or anything either, but okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it in this way. So go like this, tails are gonna be for the fans are gonna to be to the right. Yeah, I'd love to do a Project Zero build at some point. I, I think it'll catch on, but it definitely needs to, it needs to become universal in some manner so that you're not trapped into using, you know, one company's components. Project Zero is the pro Project Zero cables. Um, so like MSI, I think that might be MSI's specific um, project. Um, but it's, yeah, just basically like a, the whole everyone trying to go to where you, there's no visible cables in your case. Uh, MSI's got their thing. I, I think pretty much everyone probably has their own um, project for it at this point. I mean, everyone's got one though. I love MSI, they, they make great stuff uh, for a lot of their stuff. I don't use their, I don't use their CPU coolers and I don't use their cases that much, um, but they make good quality stuff. Um, but yeah, there was, I think Project Zero is like their, the name for like their thing where they're trying to do the zero visible cables, but everyone's got their own like name for it now because everyone's got one. Got some Z790 board issues at the moment. I haven't run across any. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the one I was thinking of too. That's most recent. She makes such good videos. It's incredible. Like if I wanted to be like a full-time YouTuber, like I'd be looking at her stuff to like um, use as inspiration for all of my future stuff. But they go nuts. Like I watched a little bit of their um, like kind of behind the scenes things and they've got like four like 4K cameras recording at any given time while they're building and stuff. It's crazy. She definitely knows what she's doing. Okay, there we go. Got all those fans in there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put this splitter in the motherboard real quick. Probably don't need to do this now. I'm sure it can reach, or I'm sure it's uh, available and won't be hidden by a, the CPU cooler or the radiator too much, but I'm just gonna put it in anyways. Okay. There's our CPU fan and then our pump fan's gonna go there. Definitely interested in what you would put in as a five to six K build. Yeah. Well, honestly, like, so the build that she did was not that, like it was reasonably high end, um, but it was not that expensive. Like, I don't think the MSI case, that case and stuff from MSI were that expensive. And granted she didn't use like super ex like expensive fans. Like I think she used um, some like pretty reasonably priced stuff, but yeah, for 6K you could, you can pretty much get top of the line. I don't think you need to, I don't think you're paying a huge premium for the Project Zero stuff. Like you're paying a little extra for uh, definitely a power supply, uh, probably the motherboard, and um, and uh, a little bit for the case, but it's actually not bad. Oh my gosh, could you please just, just go through there? Stay on the other side? There we go. All right, there we go. Okay, got it up there. Let's bring this down. Take this guy off. A moment. I forgot to open up this baggie for all my bolts, so that's fun. We're gonna kinda set that down a little bit. For me, it would be a 14900K, 4090, Azrock Taiichi Z790. It's a great motherboard. But that's not a Project Zero build. <laughs> Taichi is not a Project Zero. It's not, it doesn't have hidden cables. That's the whole point. Well, that's the whole point of what Richard's talking about here. Maybe hidden enough? No. Nope. It's all or nothing. Kind of like with that, the ugly PC that I did uh, with all the Noctua stuff, uh, Cowboy Scuba Daddy saw it and he was like, dude, I, I, I get it now. Like, I, I understand your vision. Um, and so we ended up swapping out all of those Lee and Lee uh, fans that we put in with uh, brown Noctua ones. So I'll have to, I'll, you guys will get to see some pictures of that in not too long, but I was I was so happy when he was like, okay, I get it. We gotta, we gotta change them. We gotta change them back to the, the ones you had originally uh, quoted with. And I was like, yes, yes. And thankfully he was, you know, willing to, sp to spend that money. So that always helps. Okay, those are all nice and tight. Throw that right back on. Okay, pull this back up. And uh, yeah, let's get this guy installed. So we've got 
It came with some uh, some thermal paste on its own, but you know why use that? And we've got some uh, we've got some Arctic MX6 right here in the tube. If I can ooh, get it open, oh my god, I gotta use pliers to get this thing open. It's like cemented itself shut at this point. Hold on, hold on. We got that. Uh, let's get a paper towel real quick. Ow. Just smack my elbow on something. Love that. Didn't quite catch my funny bone though, so that's, that's nice. Okay. Let's get one of my spreader tools out of here. Okay. It's right there on the IHS. Okay, let's get that thermal paste all nice and spread out. Oh, I might not, have, uh, might not have put enough thermal paste to do the, the pre-spread technique. Oops. Doesn't happen often. To be fair, there's still probably more than enough thermal paste on there, but it it can be hard to, to get it equally, equ equally spread out across the whole thing. You don't have an excess amount of uh, thermal paste on there, you know? Pretty decent. Whiskey, you ready for this to be on your desk? I hope so. Because it's going to be there in not too long. I just realized I did this whole build with my watch on. Apparently I never took it off. Boom, so that's all the way tightened down. So there is one piece of RGB on this build and it's this little ribbon there. That's okay, it's not that much. Console scrub. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Console scrub is what I was trying to say, but I got fat fingers. It's okay. There's no judgment here for having fat fingers. All right, so we're gonna run this to the back over here. Oh, 
we're gonna run it over through here. To our AIO pump header there. Okay, got that plugged in. Uh, now we need to plug in all of our fans still, because I failed to do that earlier. fans. Okay. Yo, what's up, MB? Okay. We can do a little bit of cleaning up over here. Right hand side. Let's grab a few of these. How's it going tonight? Just got home from work, so now it's a good day. Hey, love to hear that. Uh, I'm doing great. I um, actually had a, a meeting about an hour ago with my boss and my director, and like the like, the company has been doing uh, like an HR investigation uh, for compensation, HR compensation investigation, I should say, um, for the last couple months because um, we hadn't they hadn't done any raises in quite a while with all of the the financial stuff going on at the company. And I just got the uh, confirmation of both that I'm getting a raise and what it was, and I am very happy with it. So um, I'm having a great day. It's hard to be, it's hard to not be happy with, uh, with that kind of news, you know? Raise is always good news, that is for sure. How's everybody else doing today? Whiskey, how are you doing today? Lee, how are you doing today? Okay, got that all nice and buttoned up over there. Um. This. Get some of this cable management up here going. I wish I could use more cable ties on this build, um, but the backside being so narrow just doesn't really lend to being able to do that, unfortunately. I do have to use more zip ties than usual today, but everything will be okay. Cause every little thing's gonna be all right. I know my tempo for that was way off. Don't come at me for that. Don't worry about it. Okay, so still looks a little bit terrible over here, but we've uh, started to tame the beast. We're gonna kind of bring that all together, but we still need to run our motherboard power cable and stuff out there. So um, we're gonna do that now. Do that real quick. Get our GPU power cable in there, get our GPU in there. And then we'll be ready to start uh, doing that cable management in earnest, you know? Motherboard power connected. Let's push this over just a little bit more. Again, like I said, we don't actually have any SATA power uh, nest needed right now in this computer, but um, we're just gonna put that in there just in case he, he adds something in the future that needs it. Okay, got PSU side here. Get our two CPU cables in here. All 
Okay. Slide that right in, just like that. Get our power supply bolts out of here. There's an extra one or two in there for some reason. There we got it. There we go. Pay raise, does that mean I'll finally get a salary? I mean, it's not a raise for the business, so your salary would come out of the business money, unfortunately. I can only pay you in like crisp high fives and some free merch when my new merch store and website comes out. <laughs> Sorry to inform you that that is not in the budget at this time. Um, yeah, we're not letting you go, but also not gonna pay you. What is it from uh, Office Space? Uh, we we fixed the error. Is that what is that was that what the terminology they use for Milton? Like we tried to, f we actually fired him forever ago, and uh, he's just still collecting a paycheck. We fixed the issue. <laughs> I need to watch that movie again. I love, I love that movie. I used to watch it like, we used to try and watch it like every year or two just to, you know, remind ourselves of how bad it could be live, working in an office, you know? It's different now though, because I work remotely. I don't work in an, I don't work in uh, an office like that anymore. Oh, we fixed the glitch. That's what it is. Yes, we fixed the glitch. <laughs> oh, it's so good. What a great movie, you guys. I feel like we were, if we were ever to do like a, an on-stream like movie night, you know? How, like I, I know a lot of streamers have done that. Um, I feel like that would be the type of movie we would watch. <laughs> Something stupid and nerdy. together a little bit. We fixed the glitch. That's right. That is right. Sure did. I watch that anytime I get mad at the hardware at work and imagine it's the printer in the field. <laughs> yes. What a great scene. I like to get about 15 minutes of real actual work done in a week. Okay, I 
I think we've done about as much as we can on cable management for the moment. Uh, let's get our GPU installed. Okay, so we've got this RTX 4070 Super from Asus. And uh, yeah, let's get it in there. What do you do for work, MB? We're gonna retail auto parts sales. Ooh. Well, I frequent establish establishments like that for my truck all the time. In fact, I need to, to go back to one soon because I probably need to do like a full full tune-up on it. On old Tom, it's been running just a little, a little rougher than usual lately. Okay, okay. Jeez. Little port covers just went flying off. I don't think there's really anything else in use in this box, but let's just double check. Yeah, old Tom needs some work done. I need, uh, I probably need to do like spark plugs, um, Change the oil. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace the, the coolant. Um, I feel like I need to either like clean clean out the carb, like with like some some sort of special additive, or like pay somebody to do like a legit cleaning of my carburetor. Just to kind of like make sure everything's, you know, where it should be in it. Acted like it should, you know? Okay. Let's get this. There we go. Now, old Tom's like 60 years old at this point, so you know, he takes, takes a lot of work. Takes a lot of work to keep him keep them happy sometimes. You guys are probably wondering, if you're new, who Old Tom is. Old Tom is my 1968 Ford F100. Okay, got all those. Yeah, I know how that is. I haven't had anything with a carb on it in many years now. Kind of wish I did just for the simplicity of it. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I wanted it. I mean, I love old trucks, but that was also kind of part of it. It's like, I want something that's super simple, you know, 100% just completely mechanical, you know, no no electronics or anything, just very easy to, to deal with and, and keep alive, you know, and work on. Maybe teach my daughter how to like work on a car a little bit, you know? At least the fundamentals. Um, so yeah, and I just love it. I love the look of an old truck, you know. Okay. Alrighty, RTX forty seventy. There it is, clicked into place. Okay, 
There we go. Put all these little covers back on, keep those ports nice and clean. And we'll run our GPU power cable out here. There's a little spot for it right down here. Any idea why they did 12 gigabyte max for the 4070 Ti Super, or 4070 Super? I mean, it's significantly more than the 4070 has, isn't it? 4070, I thought, is 10 gigs or 10, eight gigs. They basically made the 4070 Super the same as the 4070 Ti. Like, it's got almost identical specs. This is essentially a 4070 Ti for $200 off, or $150 off, whatever it is. Yeah, eight gigabyte, that sounds right. So yeah, it's more than it's more than the 4070, which essentially it replaces, so. I mean, why wouldn't you want more? Don't you want more? I know what you're saying, you want more than that, but I think that's a pretty good amount for the, the price of the card. The TI Super is 16 gigabytes, yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're just like trying to, you know, freshen up their lineup or whatever, but they essentially, made the 4070, the 4070 Ti, and the 4080 worthless when they released the Super, the Super lineup. So I don't know if they plan on um, discontinuing those entirely as soon as they like finish their production runs, their like current production runs, um, but there's not really a reason for them to, to keep building them at the current pricing scales. The only thing I can think of is that a 4070 Ti Super, or 4070 Super is in fact a 4070 Ti with um, slightly lower specs. Like, like it didn't quite pass the criteria to become a 4070 Ti, and so they just saved it um, in order to use it as a 4070 Super. That's, that's kind of like mm, where my head's at in terms of why they're doing what they're doing. All right. Uh, let me clip all those zip ties and you'll have a better idea of how this cable management looks because I think it looks pretty decent so far. I haven't like stepped back to take a look at it, but I think it looks pretty good. All right, what do we think of that cable management job? How's that look? It's amazing value, I'd say. It just seems like most others come with 16. No, 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 no. It's, it's more than the 4070 by a few gigabytes. Um, and then it's the same as the 4070 Ti. I, I just, I don't think it really makes sense. Like if you're gonna spend more money to get like more VRAM, like just get, like they, I think they're basically just saying like, just get the 4070 Ti Super, you know? Spend another hundred dollars or whatever and get the 4070 Ti Super instead of the, the 4070 Super as, with like a second option. And having extra models is always like, the more models you add into your lineup, the, the worse you are in terms of profitability. You don't want more variables. Uh, okay. All right, I think we're pretty, uh, I think we're pretty happy with that. That cable management job looks pretty good to me. All right. MB says awesome cable cable management. That's that's a sign off in my in my book, you know. There we go. It's closed all the way. Okay. And now there we are with a fully built computer, which means you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to reveal. I know it's not gonna be a super incredible reveal because there's no RGB, but uh, 
We still got to do it. Let's see some fire emojis in the chat. I'm going to dim the lights a little bit. I can't dim them too much because you're not going to see it because there's nothing that's happening. But I'm going to dim the lights just a little bit. And you guys will get to watch the new non-RGB build. While you guys emoji up my chat, we're going to move some stuff around so we can play some video games. Give you guys about another 30 seconds here. While I finagle with my camera up here. Got about 12 more seconds. Richard Villian, MB, Arcadia born. Lee Barrel Whiskey. Everybody coming in with those fire emojis. All right, let's get the power cable out here. Get ready to fire this baby up. Anybody else? Arcadia Born also coming in on the YouTube side. Appreciate that. Arcadia, I put the vinyl on your uh, your case earlier this afternoon. Um, I used the, uh, they call it like a wet application technique. So uh, you basically spray down the glass in the vinyl uh, so that it doesn't stick immediately and then you can uh, make sure you don't get any wrinkles or anything in it. So I had the, I got that going, um, but it's not done done because it took way longer to dry than I thought it would. Okay, here we go. Let's talk through it one last time. We've got the i5 14600K, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM from Team Group. We've got this Be Quiet 360 millimeter AIO, some extra fans from Fractal, Got an 850 watt power supply, an RTX 4070 Super, two terabytes of storage, the MSI Mag B760 motherboard, and the budget case of the year, the Fantex XT Pro. Yes, I almost forgot the name. Alrighty, let's fire it up. There it is. Oh, you can't even see the RGB because it's this light. And there it is. Too much water. So yeah, that's that's the only RGB for the entire loop, the entire computer, right there. And then of course you got your uh, status LEDs, but you can't, you don't want to turn those off. What do you think? Just nice covert front fans. Can't even really tell they're there. But we got three 140 millimeter front fan squeezed in here. So cooling is not going to be a problem, you guys. Is it on yet? It's on. I really like it. This this honestly is almost in terms of the RGB on the build is pretty much identical to my first build that I did for myself. Um, I had the Corsair H100i, which had some RGB right there on that. No RGB fans, didn't have RGB RAM. GPU was didn't have RGB. Um, my case didn't have any built in RGB. It was just this so so classy thanks babe that's amazing though can't absolutely can't wait to uh see it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's kind of like wrapping in car tint arcadia that would look sick with just a solid white uh for the ao you mean like for the the rgb for the ao you can t we can totally do that we can uh we can select whatever color we want Yo, what's up, Grims? You can hear it, maybe. 
Uh, you might not be able to hear it. So simple and clean, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Arcadia, the RGB, we can basically just turn that white. Um, that's that's what, uh, so Lee Barrel, who's in here, is is friends with um, Whiskey. Uh, Lee Barrel bought essentially this exact same computer, just a couple of very slight differences. Um, but the one he has, like this, it, it is actually just white. There's no control over it. This one um, actually has some control over it, but um, we'll probably just we'll make it white because I think it looks really good. All righty then. Well, uh, you all know what time it is now. It's time to play some digit games. If you're on YouTube, make sure really quick, make sure you close the chat and hit that thumbs up button for me. That's really great for the, the algo or so I'm told. Um, yeah, make sure you uh, make sure you smack that that thumbs up button for me, and then you can come back in um, before we before we sign off for the stream. Uh, and in celebration of having gotten a, a nice fat raise, should we go energy drink or should we go or should we go uh, a nice little cider? What do you guys think? Energy drink one for energy drink, two for a, a cider, hard cider. Before we play some games. Richard says hard cider. Richard says energy drink and hard cider. Not an option, Richard. <laughs> Jewel says hard cider. She doesn't want me staying up all night. Here's what we'll be drinking tonight. Come on. Come on. Can we, uh... Why is it blurry? Is it because my face is in there? Oh. Well, there we go. Incline Cider Company, an Imperial Hazy Honey Crisp. It's really good. It's not super sweet. Uh, and the Imperial, like, make, the Imperial makes it, like, not super sweet because it's got just a little bit more alcohol content. And then it also, um, the Honey Crisp is a little bit more on the sour side. So it ends up being definitely not as sweet as your average uh, cider. So definitely right up my alley. Okay. Did everyone on YouTube close the chat real quick and hit that thumbs up button? If you have, head on over to Kick. We're going to play some video games. Uh, I think we'll be joined by um, Mr. Navy141, maybe even Rytech, if we can get him to hop in. Uh, I haven't heard how the, if Navy was able to wrangle him and get him to come in. We got the can like, we're already drunk. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're drinking tonight. It's, it's alcohol. Yeah, I know. Corey, what's up? How we doing? All right, if you're on YouTube, head on over to kick.com forward slash redneck engineer right now, because we, we're gonna play some games and we're gonna close out the YouTube stream. Thank you so much, YouTube chat, for hanging out. I appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, we will see you on the next one, YouTube. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye, YouTube.